Hello and welcome to this amazing episode of Art History Plus podcast powered by Lananta Absinthe Liquid of the Legends. Uh it's a good phrase because right now we're sitting with somebody absolutely who I consider a legend, Mr. Milan Mulik. He's a watercolorist, he's a painter. Uh I don't know if I'm using the right words to explain his practice because I think that he doesn't see himself the way the world sees him. Everyone else around him thinks he's a rock star. but <laughs> for some the, for some reason uh i should also tell you he has over a lakh uh, followers on instagram facebook by mistake i peeped into his phone while we were speaking and he had 30000 comments and 17000 likes pending yet people are waiting to hear back from him he doesn't care uh as you can see from his general <laughs> persona yeah. a man an artist who you are not shaving i, I said ah, yeah, shave yeah, yeah. and come for the interview you yeah. said no <laughs> no i shave only once whenever i, I dressed up for a, you man a uh, haircut huh. okay can you please uh, we are part of an exhibition i'm curating called follow the white rabbit milin mulik is one of the 17 artists at the frida art house at the ritz carlton it's an amazing exhibition hope to see you on the 9th of september by the time this podcast is out we should be about a week into the exhibition milinda have a few questions yeah well very simple questions first i want to understand can we set the humor setting from 1 to 10 how funny can we be 10 10 yeah how honest can we be 10 10 and how 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 open are you about talking about the details of your personal life details of my personal life one depending on like uh, yeah yeah how honest we can be so maybe i'll just bring it down to 7 7 okay mm-hmm. I'll maintain that. Okay, there's a reason of ask of uh, for asking this question to him because <laughs> he won't realize when he breaks his own rules. Yeah. Uh yeah, that's right. So, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. No worry. I, I'll, I'll let's go straight for it. You you uh do you like being called a watercolorist? I don't I don't mind being called anything like I paint what in watercolor so you call me watercolorist, you call me artist or you just call me Milin the uh, I mean it makes no difference to me. Yeah. we we made a video on you for artistry plus yeah. and you you suggested that the title of the work should be shut up and paint uh, ah yeah, can yeah. you just stretch this idea out yeah shut up and paint was uh, it's not originally my idea it's a common phrase uh, which is being used in lot of the um, art field more in the literature field uh, i kind of liked it and i resonated so much with my ideas See, basically, when I teach my students, there are a lot of theories, there are a lot of practice philosophies, and about uh, how you should go about it. But ultimately, you just have to shut up and paint. There are two sides to it. Like uh, when I ask them to ask my students to shut up and paint, just paint. Okay, if you talk before you are doing something, that means you are only. um you are only diluting the drive which is driving you to paint that's a good point. that's one idea that's why you should shut up and paint then you can talk about it as much as you want and secondly shut up is like shut up inside okay there's oh, a wow. constant dialogue uh, monologue or whatever you might call it you are constantly talking to yourself if you manage to shut that up i think um, i think the divine <laughs> creativity will flow through you much more easily if you manage to do that that's of course an ideological concept but that's what i mean that's nice you got this from your father you want to talk about your father for some time just i my, mean, I my was father was a great painter he has been the most time in the biggest influence on me and yeah he i mean he didn't tell me to shut up and paint but <laughs> i think <laughs> that's what i've learned from him what did he tell you he didn't tell me nothing He I mean whenever I used to paint he said I have nothing to say yeah he he made it a point to tell me nothing so I <laughs> used to watch him paint and uh, I used to make uh, mistakes or whatever but he used to constantly refrain himself from telling me how to go about it because he wanted to find he wanted to make me find my own way your own voice yeah yeah but he never gave you feedback uh he used to give me a little bit of feedback here and there but never gave me a, a kind of uh, what you can say a suggestion which will just tamper my own uh, journey by the way for people who don't know milin sir's father is uh, pratap mulik uh, is an iconic illustrator illustrator 
yeah illustrator painter, painter you both. might know him from the illustrations of the amar chitrakatha yeah, yeah it's pretty iconic he's huge and so milan becomes a second generation artist and uh, i was shocked to know you should, everybody should know this milan mulik is not just an amazing painter he's also an amazing guitarist uh, he's a hardcore rock and roll guy he plays the guitar he plays the electric guitar pretty mean and uh, jazz also No, no. And he had a band in college and he was like a pretty yeah, wild yeah. one. I I'm assuming you smoked up a lot and you kind of Yeah, yeah. During college time we the time so and we were the pioneers and basically high via Gelela. Yeah. No. Yeah. And he yeah, grew up in Pune. So in a way like you know Pune in 1960s <laughs> uh would have been magical compared to what Yeah. I mean it it sounds like a past life. Ha. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> like not the past times, past life. Past life. Ha. Huh. again and and he is trained as a you are trained as an engineer yeah and so this is the opposite everybody parents ne bola mujhe engineering karo engineering yeah mine karo. was the opposite dad was a painter uh, my mom was a absolutely liberal woman so i had no pressure from them but it was a peer pressure around everybody going to engineering i went to engineering and thankfully being my dad i had everything the access to the art world art world i mean that was i wasn't deprived of knowing anything about the art world but then the art world don't you feel i've always had this conversation with you about the art what is the art world to you i asked the earlier podcaster uh, in what is the art world ha huh, okay this goes a little complex question see i didn't go to an art school so there 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 yeah. obviously a feeling of deprivation that i didn't go to the art school the yeah, last time you told me uh, you don't feel bad about it no 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 i don't feel that's what i'm coming to listen ah. to me <laughs> <laughs> sorry yeah so uh, the better the other side or the flip side of that that my passion just remained alive okay once you go to art school it becomes like an education like you have been told to do something and then there are assignments and then you are working sure to get your degree sure okay uh but for me none of that was there na so it was like my passion driving me to do everything that a uh, the student in the art college is doing so sure. like there are many stories uh, i don't think we have time for that but uh, i can tell you like uh, we had gone uh, to some place to paint landscapes at the same time students from jj school had come <laughs> and me and my friend who was also an engineer we used to paint from morning till the sun sunset like produce seven eight landscapes and while those boys weren't painting at all they were just having fun yeah so the professor who had come with those boys he got little nervous finally he came to us and told and requested us like if you do little little work na i'll yes. give you a tea or a beer or something but just 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 don't make this so obvious that they are not working and you are working anyway yeah uh, so it's a compliment Yeah yeah that was a compliment but uh, that's how i think my passion just remained alive and what 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 fuels your passion like in like is it is it something do you have a vision of where you want to go with your career no i don't have a vision i do never have, had a vision do you have a career no i Because never had a vision so of wild. the career see yeah. see see uh, for my money bread yeah. basically i was doing little bit of a excuse me my cold is there No problem. I was doing little bit of architectural work. Yeah. Okay. So that was pretty lucrative. That was paying me enough to sustain myself pretty well. And painting, I just kept as my. I I won't call it hobby, a very serious hobby or obsession or whatever, but I didn't look at it as my primary source of income. So. So till date, it's the same thing. So I think that keeps my passion running, and every day I want to paint. every second i want to paint that power of habit really works for you can you tell people your time table ha my time table that that way i am a very lazy i am not very organized <laughs> person i get up at 9 10 any any time i mean i can uh yeah maybe sometimes and you sleep at what time sleep at 1 2 what are you doing ha huh, what i'm doing is uh, that's another question to all the thousands <laughs> of emails and no 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 do you no, reply no, to I'm anyone on instagram or facebook do you no, right now right now okay i'm in a, almost in a retired uh, yeah. uh, kind of a lifestyle you can say so but i spend about 3 3 to 4 hours in my studio so whenever i enter my studio again there are multiple questions i i want to paint 
But what do I want to paint? Uh-huh. Yeah. A small one or a big one or start a big one. Then But can we talk about what you want to paint? Yeah, yeah. Not not a big or small, not yeah. in terms of size. But big or small is a part of what I want to paint. Okay. So, there are multiple questions small or big, watercolor or acrylic, realistic or abstract or semi-realistic something. So, I Mm, I have to face all these questions every day practically. Yes. So first half an hour goes in that. And by then then I have decided something. So I might start something small and go to big or I might start something big. So these are the uh, questions that keep my uh keep my time very interesting. Okay. Nothing is confirmed. Every day is like a new mystery. And that's it. Sure. I Did wanted to it? ask you the what that I was implying to is not about the the size and scale yeah. or just the superficial quality mm. of the painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, p- people say I'm painting a watercolor. No, I'm yeah. asking you. Like for example, we are right now in a in 2023. Yeah. There's something called as conceptual art. Yeah. We've had this conversation a little bit in the past, but I said, hold on, I'd like to hear this. Yeah, yeah. If you choose to accept to have this conversation. on camera or to mm. have it documented yeah you were you were very comfortable about it i want to ask you about what you referred to as in the past as the riff raff in the art world where a lot of people say a lot of things see i actually have uh, i mean i paint what i like i'm a relatively old school painter uh, there are a lot of new conceptual art installation and stuff going around which i'm not ex- exactly completely aware of it and there had been many movements in the past like uh, if you start from renaissance to modern history uh, the art history book has covered a yeah. huge amount of things. yes what happens is uh, suppose if you start from um, renaissance and then the movement like impressionism came and then the post impressionist one van gogh and people came and then came matisse picasso and many other movement so the history book only records the milestone Yes. What happens between the two milestones yes. nobody records. That is true. And we all are products of what is happening between the two milestones. It's so well okay. said. Okay. Yeah. So I don't really care about what happens at the milestone. Yeah. I am in between two milestones and I'm just taking my journey. So whatever I have been doing might be recorded years later as whatever they might yeah. want. think about it. But you don't work towards your own brand or making your milestone. You don't have that no, ego. No, no. to to somehow somehow i don't somehow you don't have. Yeah, yeah because your your father left a legacy you yeah. have a legacy hmm, hmm. Uh, i've seen you paint i've seen you not care about yeah all these yeah all these things which are thing. happening around yes these uh, i don't know how to i don't even i don't think they even apply to you but one thing i want to tell you is that it's had a profound effect on the way i conduct my life yeah yeah i have relaxed a little bit just you know you are an average of all the people you know yeah Uh, I actually have also told you that I quit watercolor painting because of you, <laughs> because your works were so at at a tender age when I was learning watercolor, mm-hmm. the visuals mm-hmm. that you were producing right, right. caused a great amount of angst in me because I felt like if I'm not painting like you, yeah, uh, I'm not doing. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's okay. Painting. I get it. Yeah, get it. Sure. <laughs> and I I've come back to it after after many years in yeah. my own way, mm-hmm. and I, it's not my primary medium also. Yeah, I can. But see. yeah, so okay. when it comes to Um, uh, when it comes to other younger people hmm. who are doing watercolors i know people who actually buy your books hmm. who refer to you as in pune you're a rock star you're famous yeah, yeah. and now i mean you're consciously aware of that and the younger audience who paints watercolors hmm. you know like on facebook there's we spoke about this sunday painter yeah, there are yeah. many people who yeah. kind of want to paint pune pune is like venice it's got yeah. a great quality if you actually go to the old town of in india is a great beautiful yeah, place yeah, to yeah, paint yeah, yeah. how do you tell your students or people who come up to you i had a small kid i remember a small kid came up to you said aap tumhe rickshaw ka paint karta yeah you know in art today many see, years ago see generally what i tell them is like you must paint what you experience right but everybody is experiencing the same thing no no everybody is experiencing different things but what i tell them is you should paint your own experience like sure Whenever I paint Pune, I paint rickshaw, I paint cycle. So that is something which I see every day, and I just paint it. So what what is that? And is it po- is it nostalgia? Is it poverty? No, no, it's not nostalgia. It's the uh, the absolute visual input that I am getting every day. Sure. 
Okay. Sure. So, whenever I start from my house and go to my studio, I'm traveling about three, four kilometers, and whatever visual inputs come during that time, they just turn out to be my paintings. Sure. See, sometimes what happens? Uh, sometimes I I drive a scooter many a time. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm waiting at a signal. so usually these signals are like 1 uh, minute 1 and 1/2 minute and then most of the people are like honking and waiting at the signal with a great impatience yeah but that is the best time i find for myself because then that 1 and 1/2 minute you can't do anything you can't move ahead you can't go back so that time you observe the things around you yeah then you see there are a lot of hoardings like these politicians builders and uh, jewelry shops yeah some horribly designed hoardings and horrible faces and lot of ugliness which i used to think as a visual pollution around in the city visual but, pollution yeah but later on what happened i started finding patterns okay and the movement of color happening this way so the absolute realistic uh, representation just went away and some abstract aesthetic started flowing out of it so that one and half minute actually inspires me to paint this ugly pollution and turn it into a beautiful painting sure yeah because your paintings don't look yeah they don't look or ugly they don't yeah, look yeah. like they look so, so if you are getting my point but neither are they sanitized yeah yeah <laughs> it's magical it's somehow you've got a uh, you mid it's yeah. on the mid so my point is like the reality is what is reality you can't change it you can't, you can't complain about it or anything if you are detached to it you start finding aesthetics in that itself yeah okay i am not making any social statement neither i am making any yeah. anti <laughs> uh, statement or for statement it is just that that detachment from the reality i find my subjects you have in 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 contemporary art schools been accused of being extremely skill based and yeah. not conceptual yeah i know you'll say i don't care or like mm. i don't mind because you already articulated this pretty yeah, well yeah, yeah, yeah. but i when uh, you know i also like there are different artists yeah. in music like there would be a jazz player there would be a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a, a pop singer so yeah. you don't have to align with everybody but uh, you have you the i i have not met an artist in india who has 1 lakh instagram followers okay up no, there must be many Uh, I think I think you're up there in terms okay, of yeah, does I, that affect I, you and do, do you feel a sense of uh, a responsibility of uh, not just putting out your work but even your facebook posts are so cryptic so random yeah, like yeah, i'm yeah, going to yeah. say <laughs> weird and like your sense <laughs> of humor okay uh, do, don't you feel a sense of responsibility of explaining yourself or uh no i don't think uh, see see my, my i you should check out his film. facebook page sorry you should uh, you people should see his facebook images and then see what he writes under that to actually understand what i'm saying i don't mind if you pause the video go on facebook see what he writes and you'll understand why i'm saying what i'm saying right now yeah, it's yeah. it's wild it's weird it's the most cryptic thing i have read in a long time yeah. what are you trying to do with that see i'm not trying to do any, anything with that <laughs> it's <laughs> not <laughs> no, you, you are trying you are talking about responsibility yes. so as far as the responsibility i'm i'm not consciously being responsible for what i my action uh what i think is i just try to be not try to be i am very honest about what i do i know that yeah in painting as well as writing on facebook and that is how i am fulfilling my responsibility that's what i think but on okay, facebook you're not making sense in text yeah yeah sometime what happens uh, <laughs> no 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 sometime <laughs> sometime there is something like uh, there are references which sure. which go beyond it's uh, word play yeah so it's a word it it's not just a word play some of the people will get those references like i painted a bike a bicycle yeah a black bicycle which i used to drive when i was a young kid there were no fancy bikes like yeah. no blue and pink bikes of carbon fiber or anything simple black bike so and i used to play music which was a uh, blues music blues so there was a great man called bb king BB if you know king. about yeah, yeah, him yeah. okay and now uh, guys come up with guitar with fancy uh, gadgets and everything so the line written was let the kids play with all the fancy stuff bb is still the king okay that refers to bb king BB. also refers to black bicycle 
okay okay so who- sometimes people don't get the connection which yeah. i am talking about but there are few people who get the exact connection which i'm talking about and that's and that's who you want to connect with yeah i don't i don't get it so <laughs> i'm out of your yeah. inner no many time many a times it will be something uh, happening around during that yeah, time yeah, yeah. many a times it might be my own sure. reflection and many a times it might be something about art and music many a time the the references are references are similar to rock music like yeah. so that time why do, hardly why, people will get it why don't you why don't you uh, also play the guitar on your i i do play on what is on the facebook brand brand milan mulik is no no i do play uh, i mean play. i put my yeah, yeah, guitar videos I've, on yeah, the sorry i've seen uh, a video yeah yeah, yeah now you have made multiple books hmm. which what was the intention of so he he was um, are we allowed to can i yeah yeah yeah, yeah so jyotsna prakashan was uh, his publisher and right. he's published quite a few books on watercolor in fact i think best sellers of watercolor yeah. in india if you need a book on watercolor any art store would have your book up front right in the center yeah, yeah. i don't think anybody is the numbers are insanely high yeah uh, and no. I mean my watercolor book has been selling all over the world since yeah, since we came up with uh, and I'm recently you were uh, you have a special edition Daniel Smith watercolor uh, uh paints yeah paints He's, you're, you're the ambassador for yeah. Daniel, Daniel Smith Daniel Smith, paints, Smith. yeah uh, it's pretty amazing to to be in this and you know not people many people know this like you might be a conceptual artist people might be conceptual artists but the kind of validation he's got from within the art economy uh, in terms of publication actual uh publishing uh, yeah. print is actually breathtaking but somehow i know people who kind of don't like your practice yeah they they look at you as uh is this yeah, skill school. based so yeah. i and i know you as a friend and i think you're a pretty powerful voice yeah uh, but i still feel that i'm not able to understand what you're painting yeah and okay. i feel your i have acu- I, i would if you would very politely and res- i would very respectfully i want to uh, just ask you to i feel uh i feel it's not like some i feel that maybe you people i also might feel that you are repetitive the hmm. bicycle has come multiple times yeah, yeah. it's okay i mean yeah, yes, you yeah, can back yeah. that up by saying van gogh painted his studio right, 500 right, right, times right, self right. portrait and i'm saying that i feel you're playing safe knowing you huh. how wild you are how how free you are as a human being yeah uh and how many uh pure thoughts and insights you have yeah i feel you're playing safe huh. in the in your yeah, art yeah. practice absolutely I, I thought you were going to say <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were no, going to no. say you're wrong <laughs> see if i'm walking on the road i'm playing safe if i'm driving i'm playing safe, safe yeah. in life i'm playing safe so in painting i'm playing safe as simple as that uh now you're talking about okay challenging Finding yourself you. and doing something uh, which i don't feel like doing it i'm just playing safe and i'm happy with that how are you so cool being <laughs> just being like just you're not challenging yourself like you know kids are watching this so yeah. like people will hit a glass ceiling and be like that's it that's See, me that's what, what i'm saying be. is just just usually I mean, people of your stature you are talking about ins- i'm playing safe i'm talking i'm playing honest okay yeah okay. yeah i don't care about what conceptual art and what uh, theories sure. which come up in the sure. contemporary world these days you don't care about the outside you don't yeah. care about the outside gaze yeah, looking yeah, at you yeah i don't care about it. and many a times uh, what happens is since the modern aesthetic era started after uh, impressionism see every aesthetic movement start as a starts as a revolution okay yeah so, as a yeah yeah the matisse was a revolution picasso was a revolu- revolution and then the installation art conceptual art and these this we are talking about 100 years not even 100 years yeah less than yeah, 100 years yeah so okay yeah. So in a very large perspective every revolution is a part of evolution. Yes. Okay. Bang on. So during that time you will be criticized you will be uh, whatever uh, commented or, on. Yeah, commented on or you will be looked up as but in the larger perspective it's a part of the evolution. So today I'm sitting and painting what I want to paint I just want to be honest to myself. If I want if I feel like doing some installation art I'll go and do it if I don't feel like I don't do it as simple as that and many a times like uh, I'm not talking against it but <laughs> whatever installation art I have been seeing mostly around yeah since it started 
ఐ రిమెంబర్ అ కోట్ బై ఆస్కర్ వైల్డ్ ఓకే ఆల్ ఆర్ట్ ఈజ్ యూస్లెస్ అండ్ ఐ లైక్ ఇట్ ఆల్ ఆర్ట్ ఈజ్ అబ్సల్యూట్లీ యూస్లెస్ యూస్ దెర్ ఈస్ అ అదర్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ లుకింగ్ ఎట్ ఇట్ వై ఆల్ ఆర్ట్ ఈజ్ యూస్లెస్ బికాస్ ఆర్ట్ ఈజ్ నాట్ సంథింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ సపోజ్ టు బీ అబ్జెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ యూటిలిటీ no like function. a chair no function yeah no function so being useless is essentially a prerequisite of sure. a fine art so that's what probably oscar wilde meant all art is useless so somebody just uh, reverse the sentence anything useless is art okay <laughs> 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 that's what i think about installation like i have visited museums uh, once i was in moscow that uh, the famous yes, museum okay. called trita Tretakovskaya Gallery. Okay. And there are two. Like one is the traditional on the left-hand side of the road, which goes about one kilometer inside. And the modern museum is on the right-hand side. I went to both. This side, I went and I didn't understand what was on display. Yeah. So there were chairs kept around and there was something. So in the entire museum, absolutely I'm not uh, joking, but I did not understand or resonate. with anything that was on the display finally i found a coffee shop had my coffee and came back so i am not resonating to this conceptual art and installation art uh, you may call me old school no no you may call me narrow minded but that's what it is i'm being honest why did you choose these two words i did not say that why are you assuming narrow mindedness <laughs> no no i'm not assuming you may call i'm saying no no i'm not i'm not uh, I'm, i don't look at you that yeah, way yeah. but you use the words i'm i'm damn shocked that you use narrow mindedness why not narrow minded in the sense Somewhere i, I, I am not also, accepting the new evolutions in the art that are happening right now no, but that's okay can you tell me your relationship with money with money i mean i love money <laughs> but i i don't like to work for it why are you so, so stumped i mean if i get no you said you're lazy yeah 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 i mean uh, i do what i like to do and if i get lot of money i'm very happy if i don't get a lot of money i'm not going to go out of the way and work for money you get what i mean i get what you're saying but uh ha huh. now you're boasting that's because you know you're like damn skillful yeah i'm boasting <laughs> you might think so <laughs> No 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 you're confident S- that that you you know your skill can go down my skill can go down then you uh, you're 50 now no no i'm And 60 okay come on i didn't say it <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh-huh. okay you are you are 50 plus 18% gst yeah 18% okay. gst so yeah you are at this age you uh-huh. i have seen your father i was his student right, long right, back right. and i've seen your father's hand shake hmm. yeah. and i've seen your father's um, skill deplete to yeah. some degree and uh, the confidence inside was like fantastic hmm. uh, why i'm having this conversation is because uh, your whole thing is drive your whole drive and your whole thing is based on how you yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, you know you're a, if you were a, if you were a, a car driver you would be a rally driver yeah like you, okay <laughs> you're like i don't see you like a huh. chauffeur or like a yeah yeah city fine, traffic fine fine thanks so i just feel like you're an extreme watercolorist like hmm. if you want to take what paints out for a test run hmm. give them to milin milin will like tell you exactly series a series b hmm. he'll exp- he'll tell you the chemistry of the muddiness you must have are you a part of any r&d projects no no, no i'm not I, i just use it so now no. you are you are fully fully confident of your technique yeah what happens if you for example uh, have an accident are you insured are you what's your relationship with money in terms of do you have fear that you might not be able to paint the way you paint if you yeah maybe it will happen so i'm i'm not thinking about it i'll just take the road with whatever which are why i'm saying comes. that is because you so heavily invested and locked yourself within watercolor yeah yeah, yeah. that if you have other ideas huh. and tomorrow if you let's say did see i think i think i'm pretty flexible to change uh are you sure yeah yeah hmm. if 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 the time comes if the time So you don't till, work till for then it. I don't change I <laughs> you don't, don't want to work for it yeah i don't want to work for it but you're beyond money now in this i mean in sense yeah uh, you're comfortable yeah yeah in a i in that way i'm little comfortable uh, with my life and what are you doing up till one sorry i forgot to ask you like you you do you are, do you do, do you have a drink or two or like are you like every day No no in the night no yeah. no i just keep watching just youtube and uh, you're watching all that crap 
Yeah, yeah. All no, the... YouTube is not crap. There is a lot of good stuff yeah, yeah. on. Are you YouTube. a premium YouTube user or are you? No. I'm are you watch a, all the ads? Yeah, I remember yeah. you said I I watch YouTube. I don't YouTube. watch ads. I skip ads, but I I'm not a premium user. <laughs> you told me sense. you watch all the ads and like you yeah, like some, the ads. Sometimes I like the ads too. Yeah, yeah. So I'm watching uh, Netflix movies and just spending my time so. uh, f- having entertainment and having some kind of knowledge also. I watch a lot of TED talks. Yes. And stuff like that. And YouTube also is uh, filled with a lot of good information. Good information. Good information. Sure. Yeah. you can like literally do a software yeah, update yeah i can listen to the musicians uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. background i mean uh, there are youtube videos which have been shot in the green room yes so when the musician is not performing what he is doing how he is playing yes. how he is composing different uh, yeah, so iterations which i thought uh, i would never see in this lifetime which is now available on the youtube yeah and and you you've not ever thought of making uh, content like this to offer kids See, it's to a, say it's a what, big it's a, no no put a cctv camera and broadcast it to the world for those 2 hours so people can see what milind is doing like yeah, yeah you can do that you can put a, I'll CCTV. Put a camera yeah, i'll put a camera i'll run it so just 20 just show them 3 what, hours yeah uh you know what is happening in the life of mil- <laughs> yeah, yeah, i yeah. think people should there's no documentary yeah, made as on long it. as you pay me per minute i yeah. don't mind <laughs> <laughs> there's no documentary no looking at the traffic coming on your social media stream i feel like there should be more content you know like bob ross mm-hmm. or van gogh or you know all these painters have been documented like current yeah, i do yeah. artistry plus documentaries so uh, see that's your job you want to do it i know i know it, yeah. i feel it's important for the next generation to know who uh, know your artist like you know how banks do kyc i think indian artists should know <laughs> indian people should know their that's, artists that's that's your job but i don't i sure. don't really give any effort for yeah. doing i know documenting that. me <laughs> neither i have documented my father so Oh. oh yeah, you regrets? No regrets. Uh, I have regrets in terms of like when people tell me that you should have done that. So I have little bit of regret, but I don't have the skill for that. Let's talk about larger regrets. Larger regrets. Forget this oh. regret of one isolated example. Yeah. Do you have larger regrets? No, I don't. Come on, man. I I really don't have regrets. How cool can you be? <laughs> no regrets. It's, it's not being cool. Like it's the life that came and uh, I made a lot of stupid mistakes like and what? I paid for them. Like what? Please. Uh, People should know that. Yeah, you yeah, there are no mistakes. I, I won't call them mistakes. Like uh, I went after. Uh, yeah. A lot of unachievable things, and it's okay. I mean, if business-wise. Uh, business-wise, personal-wise. Okay. And had my, had my bumps, but I don't have regrets somehow. That's because you paid well, man. Right. Ha! Yeah. Maybe. I mean, you get confidence from painting. Right, right. Uh, no, no, no. I am happy that I was honest in doing whatever I wanted to do, in spite of whether I succeeded or not. No, you're a genuine guy. Yeah. Yeah. When you when you walk on the road, do people recognize you in Pune at least? And also, S- some some places they do. Do you feel? Some places they don't. If they do, I might become a little embarrassed. If they don't, I might become uncomfortable. Oh, you. So. <laughs> It hit your head. Yeah. Yeah, it hits my head. That's good. Yeah, yeah, but you deserve it in 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 that sense. I had one Pune related question. Peep, you've painted Pune, Belgao. Mm. You've done the Indian villages in around in and around yeah, Maharashtra yeah. sector because mm. of the comfortable, maybe the strokes and you know in watercolor. Whatever it you've may got be. your. But I've painted everywhere. I've painted in Himalaya. I've painted in Veerul. I've yeah. painted in Europe. Yeah, and I've painted in. Uh, and these are all. in life yeah yeah east asia yeah or do you take photographs and come back and paint no now i take photograph and come back and paint because you don't have time and you can't just absorb uh, i you've, mean you've done these trips where you've gone to paint not to the extent maybe that is one regret that i didn't uh, give myself that kind of a ta- uh, time traveling because traveling is not my comfortable i mean yeah. i'm little travel phobia I like to go to places, but I don't like to travel the, sure. the visas and the luggage and the tickets and everything. So, if, so that's if you go obvious. to paint in another country, hmm. what visa are you going on? No, Tourist. no, I go on tourist visas. And there's no problem that you're actually working there. Yeah, yeah. As, as long as I'm not selling this, you, as long as and you can sit in the Louvre museum and just paint yeah, whatever yeah. you want to. I've paint. done that. Yeah, I've I've gone You've to Louvre, that, put yeah. a tripod, and I've like set yeah. up on a right, easel. Right. So those people are very yeah. comfortable with that. any any things that, now with regards to drawing you've been known for watercolor hmm. i've seen some some drawings in your you started to do some 
hmm. i don't know whether to forgive me are there attempts to do abstracts or are yeah, yeah, there are attempts and you're doing something on the ipad and i feel yeah. like you're trying to be no, really cool when i when i started painting i mean i was doing this architectural thing and then shifted to being a full time painter during that time i used to experiment with every possible uh, thing like i used to paint in oil yeah dry pastel and then i would do lot of complete abstract expressionism then uh, semi realistic stylized painting so i've done all that and nice. i've been using computer right from the time it came using those vacoms and ipad so i was pretty familiar with Comfort. the digital media but i used it as my experimentation i never showed up showed that uh, in exhibitions you you mentioned just now that you did a transition to be a full time painter yeah. from a enge- civil engineering watercolorist kind of you know the yeah, structural yeah. illustrations in the yeah, bu- yeah, you should yeah. do the buildings and the yeah, yeah. and the gardening around it yeah, uh, in watercolor exactly, i've yeah. seen one drawing mm-hmm. uh for somebody who's considering quitting their stable jobs to become a full time painter since you said you transition to a full time yeah, painter yeah see see i played a safe uh, this thing road there uh after i became little comfortable like i had a house i had a car and i had enough uh, money to sustain at least for some time then i took the step of uh, quitting the commercial job and being a full time painter but at the same time i was writing books i was doing exhibition so it was a kind of uh what do you call it as in the in the film dissolve dissolve it was a soft dissolve yeah it's cross fade ha huh, cross cross dissolve yeah so it was not like that stopped and then nothing to do and then start here you didn't make so, like a big decision yeah, yeah it wasn't a big decision Epiphany it was a and realization yeah, yeah. right in terms it of it was a transition transition that's healthy actually yeah and by then 3 uh, 4 of my books had come so i had started the income from the books and so royalty and all was happening yeah yeah so in that sense but you've not designed your career that way it just no, happened no 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 it just happened just happened and just you happened. have opportunities to say multiple knows and pick and choose at your stage what how you want your career to go ahead or do you still get amazing offers and i you never no thought to? of my career i mean i never thought of future okay yeah and i still don't so you whatever don't... the opportunities come i take it and i don't run after any opportunities and that's it sure i'm i'm very lazy in that sense i mean i love money but i don't like to work for money yeah yeah if it comes it's fine sure you just you you talking yeah, about yeah i i got more older. fame uh, in this uh, field of uh, traditional art you can say or the hobby painters i'm very famous yeah in the hobby painting space you're a i'm very famous so i got more and that more doesn't offend fame. you so i'm not running after fame and neither i'm running after money so, so when the hobby painters come up to you hmm. and when like other painters conceptual artists so hmm. you know, just for yeah, yeah, yeah. lack of better word come up to you do you feel like i had a more intellectual vibe rather than just a skill based vibe uh, and does that see 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 uh, now there i compare with my i am also a second generation artist uh, do you know another second generation artist who was very famous in america in america ha huh? Mm. called andrew white <laughs> andrew white oh yeah yeah okay oh oh yeah he is second generation yeah. i didn't know that nc white was the first generation okay so even normal andrew white Doc- andrew white do you call him a skill based painter or a conceptual based painter he's not conceptual at all hmm. but uh, he he's got such a abstract content and such an honesty and such a phenomenal skill but you cannot just put him in any compartment so if i have any ideal uh i mean i think of myself where i want to go i thought of myself i have not reached there yeah. that is andrew white hmm but i see i see comments on your instagram huh. and facebook where people from the west it's yeah. so rare yeah and people think that you know there are very famous indian artists who show re- internationally mm. yeah, in yeah, yeah. major museums major collections yeah. major investors are backing yeah. them blue chip artists right they don't get the quality of contents that you get they are like the world's greatest watercolor is painter right, 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 and right. i still feel that uh, we don't celebrate or protect our artists the way american artists and you know the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like you could have a marilyn see, manson kind of an artist in see, america but they protect there are it. different kinds of art world art there's a hierarchy words. yeah and i take offense to that hierarchy i feel that no, you exist in even the art art world the one controlled by the art dealers and the art uh, what do you call it 
the people who are not artists and write about artists what do you call the writers art writers art historians art, writer, art historian art writers art critics yes and the art dealers so there is one world which is controlled by all these people yeah okay and then there is one realistic world where these people don't matter where people do just paint what they like they appreciate what they like they buy what they like because so these are two different worlds so i am part of the second world i'm not part of this world you have your own clique yeah and you're comfortable there yeah yeah yeah, yeah you have to be yeah otherwise you'll be, be in, <laughs> i mean there's no way you'll out. be in inferior yeah. you'll have an yeah. inferiority complex or but yeah i mean but i'm not yeah, talking I in mean, terms of I money i'm talking not talking in terms of validation also yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. talking in terms of real instagram facebook validation mm. you're getting i think in india the most validation on instagram or facebook you have to go to his instagram or his facebook to see the quantum of comments that comes and it's not like it's not like random stuff it's like you're amazing and this is real people i don't think there are any bots like yeah, yeah, if yeah. someone some company is wasting their bots on you <laughs> I, like <laughs> it's weird <laughs> but there they? are real <laughs> people who actually want to do watercolor painting yeah, have yeah. you been approached by any master class like domestica or any of these people too yeah everybody is approaching me everybody yeah practically everybody it's, it's amazing you have your own courses aren't you like Making yeah but that no no, no 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 that course and making that app putting that camera and then uh, that's a whole lot of can i do it for you yeah you can do it for me we'll make money together yeah you sure? can do it sure sure done on that bombshell can yeah. we you want to say something more no on this bombshell agreement yeah zaban diya hai zaban diya i'm going to thank you so much yes. for having this conversation i hope mm. i wasn't too no uh, no you weren't Uh, if you choose to accept if you can please look into that camera oh, and thanks. say like comment and subscribe yeah yeah guys thank you very much bhai bhai bho has been very kind in answering in question and keeping the <laughs> honesty below 7 <laughs> uh, please like share and subscribe his channel my channel come to my instagram and have a great time thank can you. you ask your subscribers to also subscribe the 30 40 1 lakh people to subscribe art history yeah, plus yeah yeah all my guys on instagram lakh, all 1 lakh, lakh of you all Please do subscribe and go to Vibha's channel. <laughs> okay. Yes. You'll find more millions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You won't find millions. There's only one million. Yeah. Only one. There's only one million. You'll find more Vibha's. <laughs> <laughs> Chalo. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.